So then we know that a lot of times these days people are talking about personal branding. You should know who you are and talk about it on social platform. So from job seekers perspective, why personal branding is important and how can they display it on social platforms, especially on LinkedIn? Okay, so there's a, for people who don't understand branding and visuals, there's a, a bit of a misconception. When, when, when you see branding, people see logo, colors, fonts, but that's your visual identity, more towards a visual identity. When you talk about branding, that is your um, emotional connection to your audience. Now, an emotional, an emotional connection to the audience can be things that are relatable. Okay, and it's really important that when you're trying to mm -hmm. target for, for jobs or, or even service providers, when you're trying to target a particular industry, particular niche, or even a company, it's to make sure that your voice, your obviously this this would mean you're you're trying to push your own branding into their preferences. Okay, so you'd steer that mm -hmm. into what they're looking for which kind of then gives the lack of um, authenticity. So it's, it, it's a decision to be made then, right? Do I want to target this company because I want to work at the company? And am I willing to bend yeah. my own personal voice, if you like, to match what they're looking for? Or am I going to be true to myself, speak how I want to speak, so you're authentic, mm -hmm. post content and share um, other people's articles and things like that specifically to what you're looking for yeah. and try to attract the employer to you, if that makes sense. So that that's how I would say personal branding is really important in that way. Um, and then what, when you're, when you're constantly posting and, and talking and engaging and, and, and having that interaction in that direction, that will naturally um, do what we call attract your tribe. So the tribe that you're looking to become part of, yes. you will naturally guide your way into that through your own branding. Like when you look at people like um, Elon Musk, he's a good he's a good um, example of mm -hmm. personal branding because you could say to many people, do you know Tesla? Do you know you know uh, all all his other companies? You know, like he's got the Boring Company, he's got um, Neuralink, and all his different companies that he's got. Most yeah. people won't even know what them companies exist. But when you say, do you know who Elon Musk is? Oh, I know mm -hmm. Elon Musk because that he's, he's made a personal brand for himself. And uh, you see it with mm -hmm. a lot of, a lot of, um, a lot of our connections on LinkedIn who are service providers. And, and there's one guy I can think of in particular. I won't mention his name because I don't know how much information he wants me to give away, but he had a really strong personal brand as a service provider. And he hit a bit of a, bump in the road with his business where he wasn't enjoying the business as much as he used to. So he wanted to go back into the nine to five jobs. So he put a post that saying he's looking for a job in yeah. X, Y, Z. And within a day he had a job offer. Didn't even need to put a CV out or anything because people knew him as, as what he does. They knew what he was capable of is the mm. quality of his work. And that's what you get known as. Like when you look at my profile now, we're known for profiles but my branding is the pink gangster. You know, I, I use magenta in my branding. My tone of voice is very sharp and straight to the point. Yeah, I was going to ask you about that. Yeah, yeah I was going yeah. to ask you about that. Like the coloring also is kind of your branding, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that, that's more of the visual identity, how, how my brand's represented. Um, but when we look at brand archetypes, mm -hmm. uh, mine falls into outlaw or rebel. That's my brand archetype. And it naturally falls the gangster theme. The gangsters themselves come from... Uh, the 1940s, where my great grandfather was part of the Italian mafia, so that was back, you know, a couple of generations ago. So I brought all that into my branding, and then pink is a rebellious mm. color, so it all fits my personal brand of how I speak online. Like I, I curse, I use swear words, I speak very straight to the point. I don't beat around the bush. I'm not one for um, trying to avoid offending anybody. If people get offended, it's it's down to themselves, you know. And, and that's my brand. So I'm completely true to myself. Mm -hmm. And that naturally attracts people to me who are interested in either interacting or being part of, of, of that journey. So going back to, you know, the job seekers ones, just be true to who you are, speak how you want. But obviously I try to keep the swearing down. If you're looking for jobs, it, it works for me because of my own business. 
and my brand. But, you know, try to be yeah. true. If, if you've got opinions, don't get into arguments online. You know, have an opinion and have a, a grown up conversation or discussion about why you have that opposing opinion mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And what it does, it causes good communication. Mm -hmm. And as long as people, when they come to see your mm -hmm. LinkedIn profile as a job, uh, a, a headhunter, they're going to go through your activity on your profile. We used to do it all yes. the time. They come to the profile. You, you find a profile that you're interested in. The first thing we do is we go through the activity and we want to say, right, is this person going to represent the company in a, in a professional manner when they're online? Because most yes. of the time when you work for a company, you'll have their banner, their branding, you know, you sort of brand your LinkedIn profile to them because you're part of their company, especially in recruitment, you know, that, that particular um, industry, yes. you know, because you're reaching out to a lot of other candidates. But we always go to that mm -hmm. activity to make sure that you're keeping it clean because you don't want them to jeopardize the, the company name. So it's very important that is as well. See? So I know that's a very long winded answer for, for personal branding, but it's just no, making sure good. Like I, I would share. Like, if Thank you for thinking, that answer. It's okay, but just just quickly there, Mayor. Um, if you're interested in a company, particular company, start sharing and commenting on all their posts. Connect with the recruiters in, in that company and start building a relationship up with them because then when it comes to trying to apply for a job, you can drop them a DM and say, oh, by the way, I've sent my CV in. Could you pick it up for me and take a look and could we you know, potentially get an interview or, or have, mm -hmm. a, have a chat about the next step? Those are great tips, Darren. Thank you very much. And again, for the audience, if you have any other tips or if you have any questions, you can reach to us. So tune in next time for another great question with Darren.